Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to go through a tip that I think is an absolute necessity when report building. And that tip is how to group columns so you can hide things that you don't necessarily want your audience looking at, right? So grouping columns is essentially you highlight a group of columns or even a group of rows and you hit Alt plus the letter A plus the letter G plus the letter G again and you create a grouping. So this grouping now allows you to hide or unhide columns or rows that, like I said, you don't necessarily want your audience looking at or that you don't necessarily want to look at at the moment, right? So just to get this out of the way, why don't we simply just highlight what we want to hide, right click, and then hit the hide selection? The reason we don't do that is because I believe when you just right click and hide, it's a very archaic or a very, very basic and inefficient way of hiding uh, stuff you don't want to see, right? And the reason I say it's inefficient is when you're thinking about report building, you want to put things together so when you work with the report and when you dive into different pieces of the report it's easy to work through it and it's easy to do those dives right you don't want to be manually clicking all the time um, selecting unselecting right clicking um, to do your hides or to do your unhides right it that takes up too much time especially if you know you're gonna be hiding consistently the same things right so think about it like this Let's say I have this small report here put together where I'm looking at the sales dollars and the unit sales by customer and for specific categories, right? By by uh, by week. I know. Let's say, for instance, I know. I I want to look at. Sometimes I only want to look at uh, sales for a particular category. Let's say I want to look at garage sales. Um, what I can do is I can hide, right? If I select the rest of the columns, I can hide, again, Alt plus the letter A plus the letter G plus the letter G again. That's your grouping. So with my grouping, I can easily hit the plus or the minus, right? to hide or unhide these columns. There's no more highlighting the group of cells, right clicking and then clicking hide or unhide. That's not efficient. So I can easily hide or unhide once I have a grouping set up, right? So if I only want to look at garage sales every week, I specifically want to look at sales for the garage category for these three customers, right? Um, I have it set up so I can look at this right but then let's say um, maybe maybe for some reason I think garage sales are semi correlated to these other two category sales right kitchen and bath and outdoors right if I want to see garage sales garage sales the focus right and I have it set up so my report only shows garage sales off the bat I can also use this grouping so that if for example, I, I want garage sales and I looked at them for the week, but now I want to look at the those, those other two categories that are semi-correlated to garage sales. I can just hit the plus sign for the grouping, and now I have all this extra detail for these other categories um, that I don't necessarily want to look at every week, right? My focus is this particular category, so I want this always showing, but then I have the option to look at this, at these other categories, or not right so that's an instance when grouping is obviously better right because I know for these particular columns consistently it's either going to be a yes or a no I want to look at them and this is a consistent yes right so instead of every week highlighting the same set that I don't want to see hiding it and then unhiding right to see it and then highlighting right clicking and hiding again right I can just leave my grouping already set up so it's only the click of a button to see uh, the hidden detail um, 
and then I can even take this a step further, right? Ooh. Let's say I want to look at all the cat, all these three categories, right? So to ungroup, you hit Alt A plus U plus U. That ungroups it, right? So now let's say, for example, I want to look at say only only the sales dollars, right? I want to compare the sales dollars by week for every category and every customer, right? But I don't want to see the detail of the units, right? So what happens here is each column takes up what I would call real estate space, right? Each column is taking up a specific space within this screen or within this view. Let's say I don't want this in I don't want this units column showing for any any of um, the category customer combinations. What I can do is if I want to strictly look at sales dollars and hide the units, I can group every single unit column, right? Alt A plus G plus G. Alt A plus G plus G. All the way through. Now imagine having to select, right click, hide, unhide every single time, right? It's not efficient, right? But you say, hey Nick, this doesn't seem efficient either, right? Because then I have to click every plus and every minus button, right? It's still work involved. Well, I would say to that, not necessarily, right? If you look over here to the to the right, when you created this grouping, what Excel does is it starts to it starts to group and then subgroup your groupings, right? So here we're saying that at number one at the lowest level you see everything right you see absolutely everything when you go a level further when you click a level down you're gonna see you're gonna hide things um, that are grouped at this level uh, and so on and so forth right so given these two buttons what these what these levels allow you to do is to to group or ungroup with the click of one button everything that's within a certain level right so here if, if I have just like we wanted all the sales showing right and no unit detail let's say now I want to look at the unit detail with the simple click of this two what the two, what the click of the two is going to do is going to open up every grouping right so if I hit that two now I see the unit detail right and and likewise say I want to hide the unit detail every grouping at the second level I hit the number two. Oh, actually I'm in level two so I want to I want to move up back to level one and see now I'm only showing sales right so the the efficiency of of grouping is a big reason why you don't want to be right clicking and hiding and unhiding right so we know now that grouping allows us to efficiently hide things that we don't necessarily want to see or we don't necessarily want our audience to see at the moment, right? When else would I use grouping when I'm creating reports other than hiding columns? I would also use grouping when I want to hide um, when I want to hide helper columns, right? So in another video, we've seen how we use helper columns to basically aggregate from our data source tab. Well, here you can see in my sum if formulas, my sum ifs are pointed at these two rows up top, where these two rows are basically my helper helper rows. So the formulas reference these rows to help determine which specific, which specific piece of data to aggregate based on, right? So when you put together reporting, right, for your manager, you never want to show all this detail, right? If we're talking about being professional, you want to hide this because you don't want them wondering, like, why is this here? What's the point of this? You know, you already have that detail over here in a much nicer display and output. So what you do is you group those helper in this case helper rows right so highlight them just like we've seen before what you want to group and then hit alt plus a plus g plus g and there you have a grouping 
And just like we how we saw the columns are hidden when you hit the plus or minus for the grouping, the same happens with the rows, right? So here you still have you still have the helper columns visible, right? And in this case, for this customer, week four, unit sales of this category were 144. All right, so whether we hide the helper columns or not, we, our data, our aggregation is still there. Um, so groupings are very, very useful when you want to have your helper columns um, hidden. Um, and when you're putting together reporting, you want to hide that. You don't want, um, you know, whoever you report to, whoever's going to be working with this to see that that detail because it's it's honestly a bit distracting right to see all this like here you can't even see what it fully says unless you open up the column so you don't need that distraction away from what you really want to show right um, so that's another reason or this is a very big reason honestly why you need to understand how to work with groupings and why you need to implement them when you're report building and then let me just show you how you can further work with levels, right? So you saw we had level one, level two, right? And over here, when even when you work with rows, the levels still help out, right? But let's look at this. Let's let me just show you. Oh, let me just show you how the levels work after you pass level two, right? Let's say we want to hide. We want to hide this customer RI6139. They're not necessarily of big importance to us, right? Because maybe they're a different type of customer. So we can set up these groupings, right? Alt AGG, where you specifically hide. The groupings are specific to this customer, right? So you hide this, you can hide the sales and units for that customer, right? But then what if we want to hide, let's say, the kitchen and bath category? What happens then, right? How would we work about hiding this kitchen and bath category and then only comparing the garage and outdoors category? Oh, it's pretty simple, right? You just highlight the columns you want hidden again. So this, in this case, kitchen and bath, we highlighted I through N, and then you hit all plus A plus Alt plus A plus G plus G and that creates your grouping right so now you can hide you can hide this customer right RI6139 and you can also hide the kitchen and bath category and if you notice once we created this grouping for the kitchen and bath we added a third level right of groupings so now you can hide either right if we go to the highest level we're hiding, we're only showing garage and outdoors for these two customers. If you go to level two, that should open up the kitchen category, right? So level two opens up the kitchen and bath category, and now level three opens up that customer. You see that? So let's hide everything. Right? So that's how the levels work. Um, and then one more thing I want to work through is a quick tip. Like, let's say, for example, you wanted to be able to hide every category. Um, something you need to watch out for is you can't, the limitation of this grouping function feature is that you can't necessarily group, right? So we, how we have set, how we have this set up where the kitchen and bath, um, columns are right next to the outdoors. If I try to set up a grouping for the outdoors, what's going to happen is Excel is going to see this as one big group, right? So it's going to group from kitchen and bath over here, and it's just going to extend this guy over to the outdoors. So you don't necessarily, you see that? It went from being here to over here. So you don't necessarily have that functionality of being able to group right, right the columns that are right next to each other independently uh, but a workaround that I've used in my time and I can show you is to simply leave spaces between where you want groupings right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, shift and delete 
hold shift and hit delete so I can shift over this this um, these columns shift over these columns and now what I can do is now that there's a space between um, this category and this category now I can set this up as its own grouping and I can hide it here and I can hide that there right and then just for aesthetic purposes I can shrink down this column that's in the middle a little bit just need to be aware that it makes your plus minus box hide a little bit but you can always open and close with your levels over on this side right so you see that so now the highest level I'm left with garage and then I can go down further so that is the grouping function that's how you get it that's how you get it to work uh, as well as a few tips to keep in mind um, if you guys have any questions or you need clarity on anything else just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can um, and like always hit the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video